Hi, we are the Edson's engineers from Ocean Township Intermediate School. We have noticed a problem in our community and we wanted to take action. We have seen firsthand an increase of housing and shopping complexes being built in our town of Ocean and realized that land for farming is quickly decreasing. With population increasing, land for farms decreasing, and an astronomical inflation cost of food, we wanted to find a better solution to traditional agriculture that could be done on a budget so it would be available to ever, anyone. We took the idea of a tower garden that we already had in the classroom to design aeroponic systems using repurposed materials for our solution. An aeroponic system is growing plants in a vertical garden that requires 98% less space and 95% less water than traditional farming. Since produce is grown in a climate-controlled environment, there is no runoff from additional chemical sprays, so there is no water pollution. Tilling is not required, so carbon dioxide will stay trapped in the ground and food can be harvested the day it will be consumed. So there is no increase in the carbon footprint from importation or nutrient deprivation due to increased time between harvesting and consumption. This time-lapse video made by NASA shows carbon dioxide emissions around the world during each month. Notice how emissions are increasing during the month that farmers will till their land to start their crops. As the seasons progress and plants start to grow, the carbon emissions start to decrease. The increase of this greenhouse gas in the atmosphere increases global temperatures in addition to increasing the acidity in the atmosphere water. Tilling the land is also removing the organic material from the soil, which is turning soil into a desert. This has required farmers to add more synthetic fertilizers and other chemicals to the ground which kill beneficial pollinators or get washed away and run off polluting nearby. Waterways which cause al algae blooms and death of aquatic life. After researching many different budget-friendly tower gardens that have already been built, we brainstormed how to make those towers more environmentally friendly by using materials that we could repurpose rather than buying new materials. We focused on repurposing materials that would have most likely end up in the landfill or as pollution so we could teach the community how to reduce their environmental footprints. We used K-cups and yogurt containers to make net pots, pallets that were on their way to the landfill to take apart and reuse for shells and to build dollies, and a 55-gallon drum. We came up with these three very different designs and decided to build all of them to share various ways individuals and other schools can make a tower garden on a budget. Being able to pr produce vegetables at home will decrease the price you spend weekly at the grocery store while increasing nutrients. Aeroponic systems allow you to grow organic crops with no additional chemicals like you would find at the grocery store since they aren't treated with pesticides, fungicides, herbicides, or insecticides. These tower gardens can be used in schools or at individual homes. We published our DIY videos on YouTube and hosted workshops for the community to teach them how to make their own tower gardens on a budget. Our school will continue to grow fresh, nutrient-rich salads for the cafeteria with the aeroponic systems that we made. But our hope is that other schools and homes will use aeroponic systems to reduce their environmental footprint by reducing the carbon and water footprints that traditional farming adds to as well.